Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Hope I, uh, you guys are doing well. Uh, today I want to look at Gilead Sciences. Uh, I had reviewed the company for our genomic investors and uh, while I was going through the product portfolio of uh, Gilead uh, and also its pipeline, I was struck by the fact that they have invested a lot of efforts and they have a huge portfolio of HIV related therapies. So I thought we should look at uh, Gilead uh, Sciences and their HIV portfolio in detail. And the way I am looking at this, um, uh, at covering Gilead, is that they have uh, a dozen uh, HIV um, therapies which are already approved and which are in the market. So what I want to do is in this episode in the, and in the next episode, I want to cover six of each. Uh, what I want to talk about is the name of the uh, uh, therapy, uh, the dosage, and uh, what it costs in the U.S., so I want to do that for first six uh, therapies today and the next six in the next video. And after that, I will take each one of those and go in, in depth to give you an explanation of how it works. So that's the plan. That's what I'm aiming for. It's an aspirational goal. And uh, I'm going to work towards it. So if you have any feedback, please put it in the comment so that uh, I can include what you are looking for also while I'm doing this coverage. So uh, today, uh, I think, uh, before I proceed, uh, I would like to request you a couple of things. One is, if you're not subscribed, please press the subscribe button. And the second is that we have only two Patreons, and uh, they have been valiantly supporting the channel for a, quite a while. I need more. Actually, I need around 50 Patreons, at least at the basic level. So if you could uh, join the Patreon, it will be absolutely fabulous for the channel. The link is in the description below. And uh, that will help us uh, do um, a, a bit of uh, fast growth in terms of subscription. And then we can start attracting really good guests from the industry uh, who can uh, talk to your questions. So with that said, uh, we also have the super thanks feature through which you can help the channel. And um, OK, enough of promotion of the channel. Let's get started with the video. <music> Welcome back, friends. Well, you buy fruits by the dozen. Gilead Sciences has a dozen HIV medications. Here is the list of uh, six of the 12 medication and their properties. Please note that not all of these are available outside US. Everything I'm talking about today is available in the US, but necessary, not necessarily available outside of US. So some of them will be in some country and some of them may be in yet another country and so on because there is approvals needed and also there are licensing issues and stuff like that. So the very first one is a, a drug called Bictarvy, B-I-K-T-A-R-V-Y. It's a prescription medicine that is used without other human uh, immunodeficiency virus medicines in order to treat HIV-1 inf infection in adults and children who weigh at least 31 pounds or 14 kilos. So that's the, uh, clear, that's the FDA approval that they have, and they haven't tested for below that. And um, uh, it costs roughly $4,000 for 30 tablets in the United States. Dosage is directed by the physician, and typically it is one tablet a day. The next one is Complera. Complera is a combination of two nucleoside analog HIV-1 reverse transcriptase inhibitors and one non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor, which I have spoken about before, which is Rilpivirine and is indicated for use as a complete regimen for the treatment of HIV-1 infection in patients weighing at least 35 kgs. And there are a few other conditions as initial therapy in those with no antiretroviral treatment history and with HIV-1 RNA less than or equal to 100,000 copies per ml at the start of the therapy or, number two, uh, to replace a stable antiretroviral regimen in those who are virologically suppressed, which is HIV-1 RNA less than 50 copies per ml, on a stable antiretroviral regimen for at least six months with no treatment failure and no known substitutions associated with resistance to the individual components of complex uh, co complera. So that's the uh, uh, description from uh, Gilead Sciences website. The cost for Complera oral tablet is around $3,647 uh, for a supply of 30 tablets, and dosage typically is one tablet per day. So uh, in all these cases, the physician uh, directs what should be the capacity of the tablets, but it's generally one tablet a day. The third one is Descovy, D-E-S-C-O-V-Y. Descovy is a prescription medicine that may be used in two different ways. 
Descovy is used to treat HIV-1 infection in adults and children who weigh at least 77 pounds or 35 kgs together with other HIV-1 medications. So this is not a standalone. This needs other HIV medication to be giving it support. It's also used in children who weigh at least 31 pounds or 14 kgs and less than 77 pounds or 35 kg together with certain other HIV-1 medications. Your healthcare provider will determine which other HIV-1 medications may be uh, used along with Descovy. For HIV-1 PrEP to reduce the risk of getting HIV-1 infection in adults and adolescents who weigh at least 77 pounds, that is 35 kg. It's not known if Descovy is effective in reducing the risk of getting HIV-1 from certain types of sex, but Descovy for PrEP is not uh, for use in people born female uh, at birth who are at a risk of getting HIV-1 infection because they have, it has not been tested on them. The list price of Descovy is uh, 2159 per month, but various schemes can bring down the price to around $1.9 or $1.4 per month, because it depends on what schemes uh, someone in US is eligible for. So the price can come down significantly, but the fact remains that it's not a standalone treatment. It has to be taken along with other medications. So I think roughly it, everything boils down to around $4,000 uh, per month. For, uh, for any kind of treatment when everything is taken together. That's my um, feeling so far when I go through all these uh, cost statistics. The next one, there's the fourth medicine that they have is Emtriva, E-M-T-R-I-V-A. Emtriva is a prescription medicine used in combination with other antiretroviral medicines to treat HIV-1 virus infection. Typically taken with other medications, a tablet a day is the norm and costs around $574 uh, US per month for 30 capsules. And then we have five, uh, number five is uh, Genvoya, G E N V O Y A. Genvoya is a prescription medicine that is used without other HIV 1 uh, medications to treat HIV 1 infections in adults and children who weigh at least 55 pounds or 25 kilos. Uh, and this is used on those who have not received HIV 1 medicines in the past or to replace their current HIV-1 medicines for people whose healthcare provider determines that they meet certain requirements uh, in the US. Costing around 4,000 for 30 tablets with a typical dosage of a tablet per day. And this is where friends, where I'm feeling that whenever it comes to a standalone uh, HIV medicine that you have to take one per day, uh, it typically comes to around $4,000 for the month. The next one, the sixth one is uh, ODFC. ODFC is a prescription medicine that is used to treat human immunodeficiency virus uh, 1, that is HIV-1 infection in adults and children who weigh at least 77 pounds or 35 kilos and who have or who have not received HIV-1 medicines in the past and who have an amount of HIV-1 in their blood. Uh, this is called viral load and the viral load should no, be no more than 100,000 copies per ml or to replace uh, their current HIV-1 medications for people whose healthcare provider determines that they meet certain requirements in the US. Costing around 3,647 for 30 tablets and typical dosage is one tablet a day. So friends, this is where I would like to stop today. Uh, because this is a whole lot to digest. You can always rewind and go and look at the various medication that I've spoken about. Uh, and um, I will be back uh, in, in the next video with the remaining six medications that they have. And then we will also uh, have a look at their pipeline and we'll then go through each of these medicines uh, in detail to understand how it works and uh, uh, what methodology it uses in order to control the uh, HIV infection. So... Um, yeah, so that's what I have for today. And um, uh, I think uh, I'll do a detailed video on each of this medication in due course.
with that i would like to say bye thanks for watching i'll catch up with you again bye for now